We've talked a lot yeah. during this about how the stigma has changed from looking at how it's changed. How exciting is that for you? You mentioned Naomi before mm -hmm. and she did it at, at the biggest stage in tennis. But for us to be able to talk about our mental health, how encouraging has that change been for, for your perspective? I think it's it's been great. I, it shows that she's human and it's it created this like relatability factor where it's like we don't have to pretend all the time you know yeah and that's how i felt when i was younger that like everyone was pretending so i had to pretend also even though of course we have days where we feel weak and we lost and we feel terrible and yeah. you know or we have a tournament coming up and we don't feel confident you know and you always had to pretend that like everything was perfect all the time and so it really just like broke that facade and um i think it's it's great that it i think it helps not just like other athletes but all all normal people to be like hey like this superstar is human and feels terrible about this tournament and doesn't want to play or doesn't want to do this and um it just makes us all like be like i don't know i feel like it can almost like bring everyone together you yeah. know what i mean like we're not so all far apart like yeah right. of course in your and a normal person's job they don't feel like going to work okay when i wake up sometimes ugh, i don't want to play a tennis match today i just yeah. feel so much pressure and anxiety i don't want to play and i think that just makes us seem just so much more relatable i think one of the like or two two of the most impactful athletes you know ever publicly speaking about it naomi one simone biles mm -hmm. two just when they did it before the Olympics, before a big tennis tournament, um, and just because of, of their stature in sports, them being you know female athletes, and maybe you know some getting some harder questions sometimes that maybe the male athletes don't don't get. Did you feel like that was empowering too? That it was like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Simone in there with Naomi, mm -hmm. but like two very strong female athletes speaking out about mental health kind of broke the stigma at once big together it felt like totally and i think it was not too far apart when that both yeah. actually happened i think it was the same summer um uh when it was like the french open for naomi and the olympics yeah. right for simone biles yeah i mean it was just um i mean it took courage i would say because you have to really believe in what you're saying and believe that what you're feeling is important enough that you know you want people to know about it and mm -hmm. it's a negative thing it's not a positive thing right like oh yeah. i don't feel ready enough to to perform in this event or whatever right. it was for simone but um i think it just caused everyone to be like okay like we can relax we can like have tear these walls down a yeah. little bit and just be all normal about it and, and not just pretend like everything's perfect. I just, that, that idea of like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist myself. So I'm, that's something I'm trying to work on, you know? And like, can we just all stop trying to pretend to be perfect that we must achieve perfection? Yeah. All of that is just like, I feel like stress inducing, you mm -hmm. know? And I feel like that just caused everyone to be like, okay, like it's okay. Did that change? Like you guys are traveling each and every week for mm -hmm. tournaments. You're in the locker room together. You're practicing together. Did that change? Like when I know this has been an ongoing conversation in sport and in tennis, but like when she took that stand and talked about her own mental health, did it like have a ripple effect inside the women's tour too? I would say people just slowly over the years have been more open about, uh, you know, physical injuries, mentally not feeling that good, just yeah. more like, hey, like everything's not perfect all the time. And so obviously when you have people that talk about it in such a public way like that, it totally like breaks the stigma immediately, like you said. Um, and I would definitely say I noticed, I would say it was trending already in that direction. Yeah. But with those specific girls doing that, um, it was definitely like, oh yeah, like I could talk to a tennis friend and be like, oh, I'm so anxious or nervous for my match today and it's something yeah. we never would have said right. in the locker room 10 years ago like we wouldn't even admit to that 10 <laughs> years ago like think about how crazy that even is. to yourself i know 